Hello everybody, True Mavs here, your 3 million G gamer. Welcome back to another episode of Witchcrafty on Xbox One. Uh, we've did a bit of backtracking towards the end of the last episode. I think we've got all the chests from the Goblin Caverns now with our new powers and all the chests from the Summer, or the Queen's Castle slash Summer Castle. And we're now in the ice area, which we've we just made it to the... A fast travel point so we've got a lot of this map to explore we do actually have all the spells now so there should be no chest that we can't open which is good um so yeah let's uh let's carry on and let's uh, make our way onward so here's the shop we don't need money because we have enough cash we've had enough cash to buy everything in the shop okay this is going to be awkward Didn't even aggro the um but oh we've got potions as well interesting so there's potions and um um plants in this area Snow oh sorry snowman press the wrong button okay so we don't need cash so this is gonna be a cash chest i mean we'll hit it because it's nearby i'm not gonna go for anything that's out of our way i mean things in passing will we'll get Okay, here's a nice chest. This was just going to be cash as well, but the one up above. How many chests actually in this location? One, two, three. Three chests. That's a lot of chests, so that's good. Right. Cashola. Cash area, thank you very much. I'll have the health point back. Thank you. That was just an empty room. Right, I'm amazed how I've been getting the health ones a lot faster than the mana ones because um, we've literally had two health upgrades and it one away from the third health upgrade and I'm literally one away from the second health upgrade, uh, mana upgrade. Just scoot past that guy and down here. Okay, this room looks terrible. Um, where are we? Okay, I think we can just drop through this room. I don't think this room's got anything to offer us, so we'll just do this. Gotcha. Uh, this is just going to be cash. We shall do it. Okay. Two pretty easy rooms. Okay, there's a room going up, but I don't... Oh god, a mage. Mage, 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 mage. I hate these mages. These, they suck. I'm just gonna quickly stick my head up this room just to have a quick look. Oh, there's a, there's, a, there's a healing plant. I'll just get it. Okay, back down. He's respawned, of course, because why wouldn't he? Okay. Oh, I didn't see that bird. Uh, bat, eye bat, whatever. Okay, let's go this way. Uh, oh, hello. Okay, so if we go, let's go all the way right and then down. Seems to be the most efficient route, I think. So that's that's cash. I'm not even bothered going up there. I'm just going to ignore you, sir. I'm going to ignore you as well. And down we go. Alright. Oh, 
Okay. Were you on the screen already? I just didn't know it's you. Did you come from off screen? That's a little bit slay. Uh, anyway, ice chest. And it's a heart. So we do have a health upgrade. And that's the final health upgrade. So that's his full health bar, everybody. Yeah, that didn't. That is not on the screen. Look, we jammed the gang. There's some weird bug going on. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'll have to jump up like that and go like that. Um, yeah, there's a weird bug going on where you attack sometimes and your character just gets stuck in the uh, spot that you're at. I did it again! I'm seriously just burning through health here for nothing. Oh my... Oh my word. Oh dear. Okay. This is a farce and a half, isn't it? That's it. We finally got there. Oh no. Please, please, please. What's with all the ice mages? He gets that but the other one didn't. the mana upgrades so there's less mana upgrades there's only two upgrades to the mana there's only two upgrades to the mana but three upgrades to the health gotcha okay save point lovely sense if you had a look I mean I probably could have figured that out actually because if you look at the uh, where the mana is at the top left surrounding the ice crystal as it currently is at the moment um, there's not enough room for another one is there after all that and it would explain why obviously the health ones were more common because there was more of them I'm guessing up here is the exit slash boss. It's been a pretty unremarkable area, this one, actually. Save room before boss, maybe? Yeah, it's a soul boss. And who are you? I hick live here. You're uh, sozzled, my friend. Have you by any chance seen one cat here flying with a nasty grin and a magic stone in his paws? Everything, maybe he went further north, but if you want to follow him, you will have to pay for a pass. For the info, I want a couple of bottles of his wonderful ginger ale. You've got sozzled on ginger ale? You know, I'm running out of patience, so I won't even try to resolve this peacefully. Well, as you wish. Where are you? Are you actually in the ice? Jim Drunk Octopus. Uh, uh, ooh, no, ooh, no, 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 no. Okay, when, when are you vulnerable? Okay, I'm con... Right, we're nearly dead. Are you vulnerable now? Yeah. Okay, I'm dead. Right. See, this is a much better boss than last episode because we don't have to... Um... Oh. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, nice. Right, is this when I hit you? Oh, 
up, but then you immediately start running towards me. Ugh, this is a poorly designed boss. Oh, okay, you fooled me. Okay, so you don't... Right. You sometimes don't stop there. You sometimes carry on. Okay, so so we, we, we avoid that one by climbing up. Yeah, got ya. Right, but then... But then... Okay, we're gonna have to limit ourselves to a couple of hits, I think, because... We just take a lot of damage from getting hit. Okay, it's not that hard a boss, actually. It's just... Mm, two. You never know when he's gonna start up again. That's the that's the problem I'm having at the moment. That's why he's doing the majority of the damage. Literally because I don't know when he's gonna start uh, when he's gonna start running again. I'm just hitting him twice and then just stopping. Seems to be the safest option. Even then, that was too much because um, we were too far away to start off with. Just two damage a pop as well, which I'm not keen of. It means we can take three hits. All right, we've got a sneaky third one in there. Probably could have got a fourth one, but we've got a funny feeling the fourth one activates them again. Jim Drunk Octopus. Oh, come on, man. I, I, I mean... There. Maybe never get more. I don't know. But not, not even chance in it. These are, it's damn it. Okay, this is just, speaky bum cheeks time. Stop. No. Nope. I don't. I don't trust it. I, I honestly don't. Tr I didn't trust that one. I think I would have got hit if I'd have gone for the attack there. I'm too far away. Did that get him? That got him. Fireball got him. Jim Drunken Octo. Okay, okay, you win. Just leave me. Pick alone and go on. Now tell me, where did that cat go? He something mumbled about the island and hit the volcano. How do I get to the island? I have a broom here. I'll, it'll take you straight to the volcano. Listen, maybe at least on the way back, bring me a bottle or two. <laughs> yeah, this could be a beginning of a wonderful friendship. All right, my dude. Right, I think this might be the last area. Chapter 6, the girl who came back. Okay, what are we looking at for achievements? We've only got three left. Defeat Jake, enter the fire fields, which we're going to get now, and uh, beat the game. Oh, it's a tiny map. Well, as long as everyone said it's rather bleak place, how did I get here from my cozy village? Okay, it's pretty simple. Find Jake, pick up the stones. 
dump home what could go wrong. Okay, they've changed the colour of the crystals. Okay, we have faster moving slimes that take two hits. We have the cute bats returning. They take three hits now, rather than two. Rather than, yeah, two, yeah. Witchy witchy woo, witchy witchy woo. Is there a safe point here? Yep, next screen up, I think. There's a shop here as well. Safe point. Lovely. Um, there's a room with nothing in over here. Probably just a chest for cash, yeah. So we're not interested in that. We don't need money. Um fast travel point down below and there's a shop up top i reckon we just go straight across to the right and that's the end of the game oh. I, I didn't think of that i didn't think of the spikes on the roof so i actually jumped as soon as i jumped i thought spikes Yeah, because I mean, look, we don't need the shop, so there's no point going there. We don't need the fast travel points, there's no point going there. So it's just straight across. It is literally straight across, and there's another safe point there. And I think it'll be fighting Jake. Literally a very tiny final area. Oh, come on, man. You got hit and then spun towards me. That's, that's, that's nonsense. Not allowed. Okay, this is the last room, I think. This is where we fight Jake. Oh no, look at this room. You are here after all. Of course, your offer was tempting, but how could I have missed that? You won't give me the stones, will you? No chance, I cannot back down, not now. Then shall we begin? You will regret not taking my advice. Okay. Oh, he's a big head. Okay. Okay, uh... Oh my word. Oh, I was going to say these platforms don't disintegrate, but then they did. Oh, I hate this fight already. Like, when are you vulnerable, sir? Oh, I, I... Could you not have just done it, like, one hit point? Well, oh, God. Oh, this is going the other way now. Seriously. Okay. Is this the entire fight? I, I'm dying on purpose there. I'm dying on purpose there. I think this is the entire fight. I'm not a fan. He literally took one hit and he took a big chunk of... <laughs> this is going to be an annoying fight on two fronts. First, they do two health damage to you, the fireballs do, which is I'm not a fan of. And obviously, oh my god! Uh, obviously, if you fall off, you're instantly dead. I was forcing. Oh man, there's no... There's... This is silly. Can I destroy the fireball? Got the one hit and... Can I... That's a no. I think that's a definite no. 
Can I shoot the fireballs with my own fireball? Is that a thing? Oh, we're going that way, are we? Uh, well, yes, we can. That is interesting, but we do only have four shots, so we'd have to use that very sparingly. Okay, what I don't like is, is we don't know which direction it's coming from to start off with. My idea was, what was if we stay here? Are they still here? Well, it's a thing. It's a... Ah. Ha 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 ha! Ah-ha! Ah-ha-ha-ha-ha! We have... ...discovered a loophole. So we want them to fire to left to right because then it just totally negates the entire attack round from them. Uh, yeah, that went totally tits up, didn't that? Okay, well we've we've discovered the thing to make it easier. Oh, that is a thing. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes it does it twice, though. I mean, why does it have two attack rounds sometimes? It's still going to be tricky, though, because the amount of damage we do per... Right, is that going to... No, here we go again. He's only vulnerable when his eyes die out. We can only take three hits. There's no way to heal. Now, RNG is going to... If doing it this method, RNG is going to provide a big part of it because we need it to attack, obviously, the way we... the left to right way. As much as possible. We hit it again. Okay, now it's not it's not done it that way. So right, that's all as God damn it. God damn it. Why did that platform disappear? Eat you game. <laughs> We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. It might take quite a few goes, but we'll we'll do this. Don't worry. We we will we will get this done. I left that way too late. We're literally one hit from dying now, so that's that's not good. Okay. That was good. Good good moving. 
I really wish I had more health, but it is what it is. Really? things to go in our favor but you know it's not insurmountable and if things don't go in our favor there is that's when our skill comes into it i dodged i it dodged the wrong way it dodged the wrong way that was that was unfortunate <sighs> Okay, well that's my magic gong. This has gone totally wrong, but we're still in it. Yeah, that went totally... Did totally the wrong thing there. <clears throat> right, come on, RNG, please. Come on, RNG. Oh, man. Uh, thankfully, it seems to be the same uh, pattern of fireballs every single time. Okay, that nearly went right. Yeah, for a go that was been going so disastrously wrong and RNG's not been in our favour, it's actually a, a pretty good... Pretty good go, actually. Actually, it could be even a successful go. This next hit might take him out. As long as he doesn't do a double on us. It did take him out. So even for a go that totally sucks, um, for RNG, we did it. Jake Vondervoort. So he, th th for those who have not been keeping up, um, the cat was the one writing the books. Oh, Jake, I didn't want it to end this way. But now I can at least go home. This walk was too long. Oh, the broom. A few days later. Wait, what? Jake, did I make cat head? No way, you must be kidding. I wouldn't have believed it myself if someone hadn't told me. And how did you beat him? It wasn't easy, but I had a couple more magic tricks up my sleeve. Well, it's cool if it's all true. Hey then, wh why aren't we at the parade yet? Because no one believed me. If I, tell, if I tell this to anyone other than the highest, they just laugh at me. Well, we believed you. And thanks for that, but well, I'm done with heroism. I think you're doing great. Yes. What should we do if another dynamic cat appears? Your flattery will not help convince me. Yes, but what if the next bottle will be at my expense? Our tender will be here for a while longer. Game complete. It is the end of the story. Could it have ended differently? Probably not. After all, a fairy tale should always have a moral. Simple and understandable for everyone who reads it. No matter how much you wait, the best. No matter how much you want the best for yourself, you cannot build your life on suffering of others. You will be the hero of your own story. I missed that what I said at the end. 
But where there is a place for malice of one, there is also a place for the feet of another. Where some give up under the weight of the bird. And only you the reader choose what you want to be. Who you want to be. A very good game. A very fun game. Did I say this was out on the 15th? I think I'm... I think I... I think I'm totally wrong in that regard. I will double check for you. Ah, your mum's hit, hit points. Animation, your mum's hit points. Awesome. Oh, it's cold today. Is that the thousand gamer score? I think it is. Yes, it is. Uh, where are we? Where's the email I received? So just to recap, it's called Witch Crafty. There is a separate Xbox One version and an uh, Xbox Series version. There is going to be a launch discount. I'm pretty sure there was. Um, where is it? There it is. Yes, there it is. There's going to be a 20% launch discount or pre-order discount for two weeks before in the two week pre-order period. It is out the 24th of March. Sorry, not the 15th. I don't know where I got that from. I think that's another game I've been playing recently. The 24th of March it releases both on Xbox One and Series X, two separate versions with a 20% pre-order discount if you uh, pre-order it within the two weeks uh, preceding its release. So that's kind of now. Um... If you buy the Xbox One version first, you then get 50% off the Xbox Series version. So if you are intent on buying them both, buy them in that order. Xbox One version and Xbox Series version. If you buy them the other way around, the discount won't apply. Uh, it is priced at $9.99 everywhere, it says. So $9.99 in your local currency. Um, and that's pretty much it. I found it to be an, a very fun, enjoyable a uh, straightforward game, uh, annoying at times, um, in terms of the um, things that fire through walls, but mostly enjoyable and uh, another good game by Sometimes You. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this playthrough, I'll see you on the next one.